Welcome back. And yes, it's been far too long since we've last met, but your patience will be greatly rewarded. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Wii, and in particular, the four NASCAR games that came out for this system. And now I know what you're thinking. You're looking at the title of this video and you're wondering to yourself, what makes these four games actually weird? Well, allow me to explain. Three of these four titles are actually ports of games that exist on much more capable hardware, such as the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. That leads to the Wii versions of these games to be somewhat bizarro world editions because they had to be cut on severely to fit the lesser hardware. This one, though, NASCAR Kart Racing, was designed exclusively for the Nintendo Wii by EA Sports. This is, in fact, the final game in the EA Sports NASCAR franchise. From the humble beginnings of NASCAR 98 and NASCAR 99 to the golden era of the NASCAR Thunder games, all the way to the depths of sorrow that were NASCAR 08 and NASCAR 09, this is the game that caps it all off. Now, is this the success story that EA Sports wanted to ride off into the sunset with on their whole exclusivity contract? Only one way to find out. Let's get it going. I'm sure you can already tell this game's just a cheap kart racer, one of your average shovelware type games you find on the Wii, but name any other kart racer where you can play as Elliot Sadler. If anyone ever tells you that something cannot be done, remind them of this story that proves anything can be done. So I'm going to start this off by jumping into what is essentially the campaign mode of this game. I have to go with the unholiest of combinations. Joey Logano, Matt Kenseth. <laughs> Basically, this game decided, screw voice actors, we're gonna get a couple people to make random noises, Banjo-Kazooie style. Look at this Ricky Bobby story. Just like Mario Kart, there's a couple races that compose a championship, and the goal of the game is to progress through the campaign of all these dumb series and unlock trophies. Watch this test your might you gotta do on the start line. You gotta mash the two button to get as much boost as you can possibly get. But you know, it's just your average kart racer, let's just face it, if you didn't like NASCAR, didn't know what it was, you wouldn't give a crap about this. But it's absurdity, especially when you understand what NASCAR is. That is what makes this at least somewhat enjoyable. Nintendo thought that this was the superior way to create a... <laughs> this was the superior way to create a steering wheel for video games. Gotta go with the, the small piece of plastic to put the other small piece of plastic into and then tilt it while it's mounted to nothing. I'm, I'm really not catching up to whoever uh, Jean Girard is up here. I really shouldn't like playing this, but I actually do. I've beat this game multiple times just for the novelty of the weird ideas that EA had even creating this game. And yes, it is better than NASCAR 09. Me and Matt got some major work to catch up at this point. Yep, lost to our rivals. You have to win to advance. We are just trading missiles. There we go. Gotta get, gotta get physical. Oh, jeez. I got the perfect plan. There we go. Kinda worked. Matt. Matt screwed it up. When did this become difficult? I never noticed, actually, that if you listen closely, the sound of the carts is the same audio that they use for the wheel and modified cars in the EA Sports NASCAR franchise. The music and the noises are just so loud, it's hard to tell. Thank God that our rivals got separated. Finally did it. Look at that, we smoked them. There's crap going on just everywhere right now. I keep thinking that when I go over a jump, I have to shake the Wiimote for a boost. Jeff Burton. Here. Shortcut ain't working out so good. And there we go. To be honest, the tilt controls in this game work pretty solid. Really, I gotta give EA credit on making it work. Well, I'm pretty much just dominating by myself. I don't... I don't know what Matt's doing. And there we go, that's a clean sweep. What happened to Tony Stewart there? He's almost 20 seconds off. Actually, more than 20 seconds off. Obviously, this game has a couple licensed tracks in it. It's got Daytona, Talladega, Dover, and Bristol, at least from my memory. But here's Talladega, the only true oval in this game. Having a big, wide-open oval in a kart racer 
doesn't make much sense, but it's at least an interesting experience. I keep keep running over my own items. Looks like Harvick and Jeff Burton are running away with this. Well, that didn't work. That completely fell apart, as is the nature of kart racing games. You never really know how you're going to end up. <laughs> this game is basically just a barrage of noise and visual elements. Yep. Yep, kart racing. Kart racing. Listen, you couldn't get a race any more luck-based than a super speedway in a kart racer. It's physically impossible. All right, Matt. You gotta finally win one. Hey, at least Matt got a win. Basically, the whole point of this game is to screw over your teammate. I think I just threw Matt Kenseth outside the racetrack. You know, what I do like about this game is the fact that you're able to create odd couples like what we have here with Logano and Kenseth. I wish that's how total team control worked. There is crap going on. Yep, still not good enough. Cart racing. Having, having major difficulties. Having major difficulties with this. It's probably the fact that my team is Matt Kenseth and Joey Logano ensuring that we're really dysfunctional. Finally sort of did something. Of course, kart racing. Kart racing. I'm gonna lose my mind with this, I know it. Either that or I'm gonna have to become an absolute like legend at NASCAR kart racing. I'm out for a vengeance. We gotta get control of this race. Control has been achieved in the short term. Okay, we gotta regain control. Yes, bump drafting. Continue it. That worked to perfection. That was the perfect run. As you can tell, when you win a series, you get a trophy. That is how you progress through the campaign, if you will, of this game. It's a simple, dumb kart racer, but not bad. Next, on to the Wii port of NASCAR Unleashed. I also did the tutorial for you already, so we don't have to deal with that. But basically, to describe this game, it's NASCAR Rumble's spiritual successor. It's not a kart racer, although it is an arcade racer. This is probably the best of the four Nintendo Wii games I'm going over today. Oh, look at those Goodyear tires right there. Nice and flip texture. But on the other side, it looks the way it's supposed to. Obviously, you get a pretty decent selection of the 2011 roster of the NASCAR Cup Series. For the sake of this video, I'm going with Rocket Man. All right, here we go. Already ramming everyone. As you can tell, this game's focus is on running into people and screwing things up, which I prefer over kart racing. By the way, I can tell you that the audio balancing of this is really good in the video that you're hearing, but I can barely hear myself think. So, excuse my screaming. This game's just pure insanity, and I love it for it. But again, it's funner on the, the PS3 and Xbox 360 version. This is still, though, the best NASCAR game on the Wii. You can see I'm sawing on the wheel a lot. Unlike your average kart racer, though, you can kind of run away with a race in this game. With a well-timed boost, you can at least somewhat gap the field. That is a win. So this is a race of just rivals around Daytona International Speedway. This track, you can kind of game the system a little bit with the boosts. Oh yeah, that was perfect. We've gone to plaid. 350 miles an hour. Got up on my side. A couple more laps, I would have lapped the competition. 
Crazy spoiler unlocked. Turn that thing on. We got COT wing now. All right, I'm the only one with the COT wing. It's a tactical advantage. Oh, God. Yeah, that ain't working. Hang on. I got it. Taking the banks. Oh, God. This... I can't see. Yep, lost. A lot of sawing on this Wiimote. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, getting the people. All right, watch this. Maximum speed. And there's another one. 280-something. Let's see who's the first to wreck. Oh, man, we're drafting good. I think I got Dennis. Whoa. Do a barrel roll. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 260. Flipping. Another one. And I put a big distance above the other 11 cars. I've already given 57 slams. You know, why is it that these cars kind of look like the next-gen car? I mean, they're a lot shorter in length. They got what kind of looks like a rear diffuser. I mean, this this is the first generation of the next-gen. A cinematic jump. There we go. Oh, I did not do that right. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> and of course I wouldn't land right. Another easy win. This game has a Chicago street course in it. As you can tell, they scaled down Chicagoland a lot because that's supposed to be the front stretch. And they also brought it into the city. Oh, yeah. Getting, getting real sloppy with the, with the Wiimote action. Let's get cinematic. I didn't really do it right. getting explosive. <laughs> Jeez. Look like he just hit the edge of a pit road wall. Okay. Tony Stewart, his car is barely running right now. Jeez. All right, here we go. This better work. 360. That was a Hail Mary. It worked. Oh, head-to-head -head race. And of course, it's me versus Kyle Busch. There we go. I got my boost. Here I come. Slingshot right around him. Super fan mode. You'll like this one. Going back to the Oval at Daytona. Get that hat on. Arrow advantage. That thing sticks out like a sore thumb. Just gotta leave everybody in the dust at over 300 miles an hour. Oil slick at 260. Oh look, there's the field. Gotta sneak by everybody. Oh, I just lapped the field in an arcade racer. And there's the victory. It's the power of the hat, I'm telling you. Good time for a boost. Got to jump on in. Cinematic. <laughs> Somebody got stuck. Oh, my God. Just blew through half the field. Yeah, it's not going to amount to anything. Got last. <laughs> How is Boyer going backwards? Are you seeing this? Now I got it. You know what? One last race just to hype up my Daytona Beach track a little bit more. We're going to do the beach run. Here we go. Into the city. Oh, this that's a jam session. Somebody ate it. That almost looked like I knew what I was doing. Yes! And there was pushing and shoving everywhere. 
I love it. There we go. Got marked again. Oh, jeez. And that was perfect. That was a good glass wrecking noise. Yeah, I think you can tell I enjoy this game. It's my favorite of the four NASCAR games that came out on the Wii. Still better off playing the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, but it's an, an enjoyable experience on the Wii. Now we head on to NASCAR The Game 2011. Let's check out how weird the Wii version is. Oh, I can tell you we're in for a treat on this one. This game only displays in 4x3. But anyways, I'm not going to do any of the career mode stuff. I'm just going to do some single-player races, show off what the physics of this game are. As you know, I love it when a studio has to use some filler drivers from lower divisions, like putting Todd Bodine in a cup car. But I do have a couple complaints about how you Technics did it. First of all, Danica's in the 7, and Robbie Gordon is in the 7A. You tell me who is the cup driver in 2010. Other than Robbie Gordon getting his number stolen, I do find it kind of weird that Max Pappas isn't in this game. But they managed to get the license to the number 30 at Germain Racing, but not Max Pappas. We're going to go to Daytona. We're going to do an eight-lap race, no qualification, full damage, and cautions off. By the way, no assists. Got to freehand it with the Wiimote. It's about to get feeling weird. Look at this. You can move it around this much. It's got that little movement. That's honestly a saving grace, believe it or not. It might look a little wrong. You got to move it a lot to get any significant movement out of your car. It makes it a little easier to drive, actually. What a, what a checkup. <laughs> well, it's a good time to mention this game has a rewind feature that isn't going to save me out of this. Hang on. I might have cheesed it. Didn't cheese it enough. Hang on ultimate cheese. Gotta use three rewinds. What I do want to mention is that the AIs in this game were pretty significantly dumbed down from the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions at least. Alright, this, this gives you a really good idea of how much movement that I cause in the Wiimote, how much that translates to wheel turn in the game. Okay? Wait a second. Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. You know what? It looks like the highest position I'm going to finish in at this point is 27th. So let me try something. <laughs> you know a wreck was good when you have cautions off and it throws a yellow. Oh, that's a that is a good flip right there by Quapple. Oh yeah, keeping a smooth wheel. All right, this is going to be risky right here. Oh, baby. Don't know how I lived. I mean, look at this. It really looks like they're just breaking in the center of the corner. All right, here we go. Up the outside. Todd Bodine. To the point. After flipping massively. Matt Kenseth, slingshotting by me. Why is this going to turn to an intense race? All right, I need Logano to shove me as hard as he can right here. Got to get my way around Kenseth. Complete and total slingshot. That was some good teamwork. Here we go, pushing me again. I don't know why, but that almost looked cool. That's a win. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Gotta do burnouts for points. Man, I suck at this. Now that is, that is just one cheesy face. You know what? Let's go to a track that was very, very new to the Cup Series schedule at this time, and now one that we don't even go to, Kentucky Speedway. Ain't this a weird sight? 2010 Cup cars at Kentucky. They didn't go there until 2011, in case you didn't know. Man, it's just really, really floaty, and if you make contact with somebody, it kind of stops your car dead, like, for example. Really awkward feeling, especially with 
a Wii mode. It would probably be a little better with an actual traditional gamepad style controller, but I've committed at this point. I'm playing it as Miyamoto intended. Robbie Gordon. Oh, fellow fellow truck series driver. Eric Amarola, come on. Got that quality rewind feature, huh? Is this a... This is not an escapable scenario, is it? The only thing that's hampering me from being able to completely destroy the field in this race is my own stupidity. All right, after all that, to still end up top 30? Not bad at all. There, finally, finally cut that right front. Got another wreck in. Oh, nice job. I have to nicely and easily navigate myself through practically a minefield of cup cars where really the only enemy is me. Four wide. Not smart, but I'm doing it. Robbie Gordon is the leader. Look at Robbie Gordon. I mean, no contest, but come on. This requires actually more activity than it does to use a real steering wheel. Because with this, you have to both hold your posture steady and, like, balance the thing yourself. Like, you're holding on to the Wiimote for dear life, even knowing that it's actually not connected to anything. It's holding on to you more than you're holding on to it. And there we go. That's another win. I've got to figure out this burnout thing. It's one way of doing it. That smug onion face. I want to check out a short track. Ten laps at Martinsville won't take very long at all. See how nasty this gets. Martinsville looks, uh, looks a lot wider than I remember it. So yeah, this feels just as awkward as it looks. Here we go. One lap left. One car between me and victory. Carl Edwards. <laughs> Just about lost it. It's still really awkward. How does this work? There's one last thing I want to do in this game. Road course racing. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. -ho -ho. That ain't working either. I was committed. Oh. Of course. I can I can salvage this. Not really. Yeah, this is th this is really bad, really bad physics wise. What was that noise? Wait, 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 wait. The pit boxes are on the left side. I don't remember if it's like that in the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, but if it is, Jesus. Whoa. -ho! Hit a humpy bump. What did I just hit? You know what you're doing out there. I don't know if I know what I'm doing. Is that is that the look of someone who knows what they're doing? Do what about this? How about any of this? Where did he come from? White flag. Why did he start breaking so early? All right, that is a road course win with the Wiimote. Even saved it. This is such a good burnout. So entertaining for the fans. 
Doesn't even make any smoke. Oh yeah, I just got Todd Bodine a win in his home state of New York. All right, so I'd say that probably covers everything that this here game has to offer. And honestly, it's not terrible, not very good. It's a decent port of uh, NASCAR The Game 2011. But the next game that we have, NASCAR The Game Inside Line, is downright terrible in its Wii port. So here it is. This is NASCAR The Game Inside Line on the Nintendo Wii. I'm sure you can tell it's taken a pretty severe graphical hit, even though this is actually upscaled. It would actually look worse on a real Wii. And just like NASCAR The Game 2011, I'm just going to do some random race now events so you can get kind of a feel of what the physics of this game are. I might as well go with Robbie Gordon in this one, too. Let's go to Talladega. I'm going to shut cautions off because the cautions in this game take a miserably long amount of time. I'll show you one of them later. All right, here we go. Look at it in all its glory. Man, this is upscaled. That still looks pretty crispy. Oh, geez. It, this is really twitchy. I've already lost Joe Nemechek's draft. I'm in trouble. Hang on. Hang on. They break in the center of the corner at Talladega. Saving grace. Mm, yep. Here we go. Thank God for the rewind feature. That was four wide. Oh boy. Don't know how I survived that contact. There we go, to the point. The AIs in this are really stupid. Let's see how big of an advantage I can get by just doing absolutely nothing. I mean, I'll be honest, this might be a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I like Inside Line. Same with 2013, 14, 15, because they're all the same game. But the driving model in those games are really, really good. It's just the AIs is where it all falls apart. But this, this is just terrible. This was also the final NASCAR game to come out on a Nintendo system until NASCAR rivals on the Switch. I don't know why it keeps telling me slow. You can, this is Talladega. You don't need to go slow. In fact, not going slow is why I got a nine second advantage. Three laps to go and I'm already losing my mind in the road blindness. It's gonna be the longest three laps of my life and for all the wrong reasons. More than a 22 second advantage. I didn't even have the guts to model Robbie's face. Oh, they got, they got mitten hands. Golden Eyes 64 mitten hands. All right, tell you what, we're going to go to Atlanta, and we're going to see how bad the physics fare at this place. Mark Martin already clipped in the wall. I don't like how low this chase camera is. It's way too low to the ground for me to really be able to see what's happening. Yep, yep, any little contact. And it just, it just sets the car off. I don't know how I managed not to just fully wreck it right there, though. That's, uh, that was luck. Okay, can confirm. You don't need to lift around Atlanta in this game. It was ahead of its time. Just using the modern configuration of Atlanta. Oh, yeah, momentum up the outside. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, I, I think Jeff Gordon's going to need, like, life flighted. How is this car just as fast? I mean, look at this thing go. It's again the, the power of Robbie Gordon. Oh my God, the closing rate. Up the outside, making it happen. So this game is a combination of both terrible and easy. So no challenge and no fun. 2782. Hey, look, it's Jeff Gordon. So he is all right. And so I'm going to win by over 17 seconds. And they're wrecking. Yeah, baby, yeah. Best car, best car, excellent job. All day long. Way to get it done, man. I don't know what to make of this, but I love it. Next up, we're heading to Bristol. And there's some AI logic that I really want to show off right here. Buddy, You're going cool. backwards. Fine, pal. Okay, boys. Stay smart. And you stop their progress. And then full log jam. And there it is. There's a whole field. Yep, there's like... There. I, I'm still going forward. 
Got the wall pretty good, too. And some debris. Bringing McMurray's front end with me. Oh, it just disintegrated. Just by running the top side, I've managed to make my way all the way up to sixth. That's how slow the AIs are, is that I'm actually in contention to maybe win this. I'm up to second in a car that looks like a wheel and modified. And there is Matt Kenseth. Just blew his doors off and took the lead. I didn't deserve to win this at all, but I'll take it. All right, I'm going to do one more race, Sonoma, but this time I'm going to turn the cautions on because I want you to see just how miserably long a caution flag period takes in this game. And Sonoma is the most egregious example. The super twitchy driving controls on a road course. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we're just, we're just pretty much stopping. All right, here's the caution. Here's the caution I wanted to show you. Okay, just watch how long this takes. It's got to show the replay. Then, has to load. Then it asks you if you want to pit, which I don't. You got to wait for that. Then it has to load. This is all happening in real time. Then it shows you the pit summary. Then you continue. Now you have to wait for us to get all the way to the start-finish line. And then you can play the game again. And now we're playing the game. Crap like that is a real good incentive not to cause cautions, let me tell you. you then again, it's a real incentive to just not play the game. That was slick. This is so awkward. Also, why is every car smoking? You see that, right? I'm not just hallucinating. I got a fender in. Kept that track position on him. Dennis. Dennis. Come on, man. Dennis. Oh, ho, ho. Got him. What do you mean bump drafting? We're at Sonoma. And I have led the lap. Oh, I am blowing this. Caution. Bobby Labonte shoves it in there underneath Dave Bla Oh! Turns out there's a steel pole behind those tire barriers, and it goes about 30 feet deep. All right, looks like a green-white check. This is going to be a free-for-all, man. Be ready. Also, why is a green-white checkered in this game three laps? That's a green-green-white checkered. Fight back, man. Fight back. Just gotta be Whoa. Come on, easy now. Jeez. Just, just get me to the checkered flag. Get me out of this thing. I've got an almost 30-second lead. I've never felt comfortable during these whole final laps, but it's over. Yeah, baby, yeah. It's done. The, wheel all day. Great teamwork. the mitten fingers return. So in conclusion, this here game, NASCAR the Game Inside Line on the Wii, is the worst of the four that we've talked about today. It's got the worst physics, worst gameplay. NASCAR the Game Inside Line on the PS3, Xbox 360, fantastic game. This, total garbage. So in the end, would I actually recommend that you buy any of those four Nintendo Wii games? No, I actually wouldn't. However, I would recommend that you get the three better versions of the ports that exist on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. These three are actually great. NASCAR Kart Racing, which was a Nintendo Wii exclusive, it's just a very basic kart racing game. I mean, do you know how many kart racers exist, especially for the Wii? I wouldn't recommend you buy it unless you're a collector or something like that. I only have those four because I was back then a desperate Nintendo Wii owner and a NASCAR fan at the same time, which was a very, very bad situation to be in. 
But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. A bit of a retrospective on a uh, not-so-well-known side of NASCAR gaming history. And yes, in the 30-some days that I've been away, I've been planning many, many video concepts, which you'll be seeing over the course of the next few weeks. Anyways, happy 2023. This is my first video of this year, and it's almost February, so sorry about that. But a lot of cool stuff planned. And even though I've got a lot of ideas of my own, don't be afraid to give me recommendations and suggestions of what to do next. I'll always take it into account. And as always, I'll see you next time.